In this tutorial, we're going to review circular motion. Remember that when an object is moving in a circle, it's accelerating because the direction is changing. Even though the speed may be constant, the velocity is changing because the direction is changing. Remember, the acceleration is directed towards the center of the circle, so we use the term centripetal acceleration to describe the acceleration. We can give it the symbol A with the subscript CP. So if we look at an object moving in a circle like this, remember that the acceleration is always directed inward. That's why we use the term centripetal acceleration. So no matter which way it's moving around the circle, the acceleration is always directed towards the middle. Likewise, remember that the force is always directed towards the center. Since the acceleration is towards the middle, the force is directed towards the center as well. So we use the term centripetal force to describe forces that act that way. Remember that these describe the word centripetal describes a specific, a specific force like tension, friction, or gravity. So if I ask you what force is causing something to move in a circle, you need to identify a specific force, not just call it the centripetal force. Remember our equations, centripetal acceleration is velocity squared over the radius. A centripetal force is just mass times centripetal acceleration, or mv squared over r. Looking at the velocity of something moving in a circle, remember that the velocity is constantly changing because the direction is changing. The velocity, however, is always tangent to the circle. That means it's perpendicular to the radius. So if we draw a diagram of that, we have something moving in a circle counterclockwise like that. At the top, the velocity is to the left. On the left side, it goes down. On the bottom, it goes to the right. And on the right side, it goes up. We reverse the direction that it's moving, then we will reverse the direction of all those arrows. If I let go of the object and let it move straight, it's just going to move in the direction of that arrow at that particular point. Remember that the definition of velocity is your displacement over your time. If we're talking about a circle, then the displacement is just the circumference, like 2 pi times r, and the time is the period, which is the time needed for one circle to be completed. Remember that period and frequency are related to each other by the inverse relationship. Period is 1 over f, frequency is 1 over the period. Remember that the frequency simply means the number of circles made per second. You can measure it with the unit hertz. The last thing that we studied in our circular motion unit was the centrifugal effect. Remember, centrifugal means center fleeing, like moving towards the outside. Remember that objects simply want to keep moving in a straight line, property of inertia. So when something appears like it's moving towards the outside of a circle, that's just because the observer is the one who's turning. Objects are really just continuing to move straight. If you view it from a stationary point of reference, reference frame, then you can see that the object is moving in a straight line. So remember, the centrifugal effect is a trick of the observer. That's the person that's actually turning, so it appears from his point of view that the object is moving away from him, when in reality, he's moving away from that object.